What the hell is up, YouTube? PPA View back out here with yet another video. We got some good news. We are finally starting to put in some actual work on the suit. So as you guys may be able to tell in the title, I did, I'm pretty sure I put the freaking parts in the description or in the title. Some things came in, some goodies came in. Let me show y'all what we're working with. Bam! Revel exhaust system by Tanabe, Tanabe, whatever y'all say it as. The reason why I went with this exhaust was because I was gonna get the Yonaka Cacback exhaust, but from the website that I ordered from, I think they didn't have it in stock for the hatch. So I ordered this one. It seemed to uh, be quiet enough where it doesn't have, you know, the, the little fart can sound too much. I like exhaust noise, but I don't like it to be too loud. I like it to be subtle. Now, of course, we are still D-Series. I'm not expecting to, you know, race anyone or whatever the heck, but I do like some exhaust sounds. And hopefully in the future, I do plan on swapping the Civic for as long as I keep it, whether it be B series or K series, I just gotta save up. And you know, find out whatever financially suits me best. <laughs> no matter what swap I do, <clears throat> I do like the way the exhaust looks and the way it sounds. So if I went B series or K series or whatever, and I needed to, you know, have the machine shop weld some piping, then you know, that's what I'll do. And secondly, we got this, oh yes. As you guys can see, I did get the Tane coilovers. These are the Flex Z. It's hot, bro. Let me take it inside real fast. Yo, these things are nice quality. You can't go wrong with Japanese, man. You can tell that they've been sitting for a while, though. Nah, bruh. Okay, so I'm loosening the exhaust. Look at this. I, I barely twisted it, bruh. And this shit just started coming loose. I wonder if this is what caused one of the reasons why I failed small, bro. All right, pretty simple. The car was, you know, higher. It'd be easier. So you got the front part off, hanger off. Then go shoot straight to the back. I wonder if I could just pull it through with the whole exhaust system or if I had to take off the muffler. Let's see. Yeah, you know, fuck, I'm just taking the muffler off. Too much work. Just like that, we got the old exhaust out. All right, y'all, so y'all know how to take the exhaust off. There's a bunch of videos, you know, just two bolts for the muffler, two bolts for the part that connects to the header or down pipe or whatever you guys may have. I'm gonna put on gloves so I don't get grease on the exhaust. You know, the grease stains once it gets hot. But I really love the way this muffler looks. I don't really like the N1 style on the Civics. Now, I do like the N1 style, don't get me wrong, but just not on the Civics, you know? It looks, it looks a little, a little tacky, you know what I'm saying? But I love how it has a stamp number on it, the part number. And this thing's gonna sound nice, you know? Paired with the Tane coilovers. I don't know if I'm gonna throw, I do not know if I'm gonna throw the coilovers on today, but we'll definitely throw those on probably tomorrow or maybe within this video. So we'll see. Main thing you guys are looking for is gonna be that exhaust sound, I know. So we're gonna get it on in a few moments. I'm gonna go ahead and install, put some gloves on, throw the old exhaust in the back. But before we get to installing, I know that they provide the bolts like so, and also the gaskets. I may just go ahead and reuse the spring bolts because a lot of people are saying that, you know, the reason why the spring bolts are here is to reduce vibration as well as cause the pipe to flex in case you don't want to break the welds on the exhaust. So I might just reuse these for both the front and the back just to, you know, I guess be safe and then we'll see. All right, I got the exhaust installed, but I don't know if I put this pipe on wrong. It kind of, let me see if I can zoom in. I think I put this on the wrong side because it goes a bit more to the left. I think I need to flip just that pipe, but. And also that's causing this to s slightly go more this way when it needs to be more that way towards the left. So I gotta go ahead and fix that, but that'll be at a later time. 
got the full thing on it looks really good bro i went ahead and wiped this down with some of my spray just because i don't want the fingertips and stuff you know to get on the muffler and whatnot i'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down with a dry rag all right i'm gonna call it quits for here today but i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an exhaust note just with how it's installed right now and then of course when i'm back we'll do a little bit more of this exhaust stuff all right here goes the little exhaust clip that i'll give y'all Okay, let's redo this. I did have an exhaust leak because I forgot to tighten down the, the middle pipe from adjusting it, but let's see how it sounds now. Now, of course, don't laugh at the beanie, bruh. I, I didn't want to get my hair fucking messed up because it was already getting fucking messed up yesterday. But yes, of course, this is one of the reasons why I wanted this exhaust is, as you can hear by the note, it doesn't sound too uh, rattle canny, but it has a, a really good note. It's still pretty deep. Um, I still got to see what it sounds like when I gas it. Of course, this is for the D-Series, so it may sound just a tad bit different for the B-Series or for a different engine. You know what I mean? But it sounds pretty freaking good. That's why I like this type of exhaust and the Yonaka exhaust because I feel like the resonator and this big fat muffler quiets it and it makes it have a deeper sound. So that's why I really like these type of exhausts and the way it looks, bro. Like, I don't know, it could just be me, but I really like the way this exhaust looks. I also like the way the exhaust looks, the ones that have the muffler that goes down facing towards the floor. Those look pretty sick too. But next project that we're gonna be attacking is going to be installing these tan flexes, baby. I'm excited. All right. I literally had all the interior taken apart, but I just put it back in not too long ago. I think I just got to take out these trays just to access the uh, coilover bolts. I do have extensions, so I got to go ahead and grab those. So I'm not trying to slam it, slam it, but I am trying to go lower. These are, what the fuck is that? These are 13 inch wheels, I believe. Yes, these are 13, 175, 13, super duper small. I am trying to get bigger wheels, probably 15s. I don't know if I'm gonna get 16s, but we're gonna install these with the 13s because that's all we got right now. Moment of truth. Let's see how low it is. I don't know if I lowered it too much, but we got both sides. We only have the rears installed as of right now. Also, the sidewall on these 13s are 70, bro. That's so fat. Is there 175, 70, 13? But because it is 13, you know, it doesn't really affect it too much. But I think I lowered it hella. There's about an inch left on the threads of the coils. I'm not trying to like slam, slam it, but I am trying to go low. So. Let's see if I can put you guys down and get what the drop looks like. All right. Look at that. We're tucking, yo. That's what's up. So I feel like it's not too low. You know, I feel like it's a decent right height, actually, for the rears at least. Now the tire is tucking in. Like I said, I am going to get different wheels, but. I don't think that the chassis will rub because the tire is so small. Let's go ahead and attack the fronts. I am about to leave it in a little bit. So let's see if I can get it done <laughs> before then. If not, then we'll still update you guys once the fronts are installed, baby. Got the fork out as well or whatever you call this thing gonna put the new coil in i will be right back i am gonna finish this today i freaking swear i freaking swear i'm not holding off any longer on this shit sorry if i'm not recording too much footage i am just trying to get as much done as possible before i had to leave but you know it's looking like i'm going pretty fast so by the time i get back it'll be a lot easier to put everything back in so see you in a little bit
Bye. <laughs> Bam, and just like that, we got both sides on, both sides lowered, so all the coilovers on the back and the front are all adjusted to about having an inch left on the coil. Let me see if I can give you guys a look. Bam, like so. Like I was mentioning, I hope that it's not too low to the point where I'm scraping the oil pan. I already scraped the exhaust coming out the driveway, but that's because there was a dip, you know, but here goes the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and lower this down. Let's get that shot, boys. Let's get that shot. Damn. Damn, boys, we are tucked. It may not look like low to you guys, but this is pretty fucking low. Damn. Don't mind the crinkled fin fenders. Damn. True Honda life, bro. Lowered Honda, little exhaust. That's all you need, man. Stock D series. I'm gonna go ahead and do a test drive. I dampened the little knobs just so it's right in the center. Not too soft, not too hard, but put everything back inside the trunk as well. But I think that that is going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I am going to get some exhaust clips for you guys, some better ones um, in a future video, as well as update you guys on the TN Flex Z coilovers. I am excited to try these out because a lot of people were saying they are too soft for their prevents and it rides closer to stock. And that's exactly what I'm looking for, to go lower with a closer to stock ride quality because, you know, you can't go better than stock. But of course, stay tuned, stay updated. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.